back to my channel. Welcome back to another Hurtmas video as well. Today is going to be the pet YouTuber gift exchange video. So it's going to be me, Lessons Lizards, Medusa Official, um, Hunter, Davis, Jessica. Yeah, so great group. I love all of these keepers. So excited that we get to do this together. I got Lissa's Lizard for the gift exchange and then on the 25th this video will go live and we'll open my gift from Hunter because Hunter got me. So make sure to check out all these videos. Um, their YouTubes will be in the description below so you want to check out everyone to see what everyone got each other. Merry Christmas Eve everybody or happy 24th depending on what you celebrate or don't celebrate but for me it is Christmas Eve which means it is time to do this unboxing from Hunter. He came in today. I'm so excited. We're gonna open it up. I'm so happy. Also before I open it I am wearing my ugly Christmas sweater with the T-Rex on it. I just felt like you know, closer we are to Christmas, the more appropriate really ugly Christmas sweaters are. So I've got my T-Rex Christmas sweater on. It was a huge hit at the zoo uh, holiday staff party last year. So, love, 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 love this sweatshirt. Okay, so let's go ahead and unbox our gift from Hunter and see what's inside. Normally when I do unboxing videos, I like aim the camera towards them. But for like gifts and stuff, I like to be in frame because it's always fun to like get people's reactions when they're opening a gift from you. So we're gonna try to accurately cut this without hurting myself on camera. I always cut away. Should probably do this in. Oh, geez. There we go. Oh, there's nothing fragile in here. Okay, we're cutting towards me. Kids, don't do that at home. Okay, let's open her up. Okay, so, thinking if I angle the camera back like this, it'll be a little easier to film everything. I'm trying to get the box in frame. But you can't really get the box in frame. Let's see. There we go, okay. Box is in frame. Let's see what I got for Christmas from Hunter for our pet YouTuber gift exchange. Ooh, okay, so you have a little letter. Ooh. I'm throwing stuff up now. Okay, so it says, read this first. So I guess I should probably read this first. It says, Zoe, happy holidays. I hope all the animals are well. They are. Thank you, Hunter. Thank you for doing the gift trade with us. I'm thrilled to see how everyone's videos turn out. After reading this, open the one that says open me first. I try to be as eco-friendly too. Enjoy. Merry Christmas, Hunter. I love, love, love that you tried to add kind of like an eco-friendly twist to it because if you guys watch my channel and you know a lot about me, you know that I am a conservationist. I absolutely love trying to be as eco-friendly as possible and I love talking about being eco-friendly and conservation. So it just, oh, I love, love, love that he did that. So Hunter, you were awesome. So first up, we have some of Hunter's stickers of his animals. So this one I absolutely love. If you guys follow Hunter, which you totally should, you've probably seen this design on a lot of his merch. It's a very cute design. I absolutely love it. And then we've got this one. And we've got this one, and this one, and this one. And they're all really cute, and I like that there's lots because that means I can put them on lots of different things and take them to work with me and put them on my laptop there. I'm so happy. So this is what the inside looks like. And the letter said to open the one that says, open me first. So, I like that I'm seeing lots of paper. It's all recyclable. So, spot on. Tissue paper, reusable. I can reuse that for gifts that I have to wrap. Okay. This one. So, he did this thing that actually my friend and I do. Um... One of my friends from college, from freshman year, every year we send each other Christmas presents and she likes to wrap things individually and write on them, like little notes and stuff. And he actually did that on this one. I love that. It makes it so fun. So this one says, open this first, be careful. So I'm kind of like, be careful? What is it? Ah, you guys, it's a plant. It is a plant. A golden pothos. I was gonna say I'm not good at, with plant names, but it looked like a pothos. 
Golden Pathos, ready for soil, used to ref to save H2O. I love it! And what's even better about it is Pathos is the one plant I know I can keep alive. Look at it! It's a cute little Pathos cutting. And it's a Golden Pathos too. I love Golden Pathos because it's just like, it's got lots of colors in the leaves, like a light and a dark. I just, oh, God, I love, 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 love it. Okay. So I think after that we can go in any order. I mean, I guess let's just read what the packages say. Oh, you know what? It probably should open first because it's a plant and you don't want to smush a plant or anything. Very smart. Okay. Moving on. Let's go with this one next because it has a winky face on it and I think it's super cute. You're a reptile keeper. You can never have too many of these winky face. Wonder what it is. Let's see. This is such a fun box. I love Christmas and gift exchanges. They're just so much fun. Oh, he's totally right. Totally right. Lovely little vine. Fake plant. You can never have enough of these. They're amazing. Um, Kahlua, my ball python. I have completely lined, although he's knocked most of them down now, but I completely lined the walls of his tub enclosure with fake plants to make him feel more comfortable. Um, these will definitely get put to use. I have a couple of enclosures already that I'm trying to decide between putting these in. So these are perfect. Okay. Next one. Oh, it's for Muppet. Okay, hold on. We're going to put this aside and do it last so I can bring Muppet out for it. So we're going to keep going on. Christmassy and eco-friendly. Nothing could be better. This boy is speaking to my soul. See that? He knows exactly who he was sending this stuff to. What? I am so curious what this is. I have been meaning to get myself these for so long and I just haven't yet. They are bamboo utensils. So it comes with a bamboo knife, a fork, a spoon, a straw, a couple straws actually, a curved straw, a straight straw, straw brush, and a zero waste bag. This is like the holy grail of eco-friendly things. You've got literally everything in this box and of course I'm going to open it up right now. I'm not going to wait. I'll open it up right now. Alrighty. So, and they're Christmas themed? What? Look at that. The bags they come in are Christmas themed. This is the best Christmas ever. And they're Christmas colored straws. Look how pretty and green they are. These are so awesome. They're so much better than just like the plain colored stainless steel ones. So moving on. All right, here's our last thing. It's a square and red tissue paper. Let's see. Another note. It says, a certain someone told me that you don't like coffee, but you love this. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. You guys, okay, so I don't drink coffee. I don't like coffee. I don't like energy drinks. I just somehow make it through my day without them. But what I do love is some apple cider, especially these. We have these at the nature center um, during our skiing and snowshoe season. We put out like a hot chocolate table with cho hot chocolate coffee, apple cider, these specifically, and I will literally drink these all day. I love these. And there's a mug in here. Oh, it's this gecko mug. So that sticker I showed you guys, it's a mug with it on it. It's a Peyton mug. Oh my gosh, so cute. I love this design so much. Like, even just the detail in the eyes. I forget who the artist is that did this. But look at the detail. This is amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my. Okay, I love everything. Thank you, Hunter, so, so much. But wait, we have to do Muppets gift stuff. So, hold on a second. Let's make some room. Oh, move the plant. I don't want to damage the plant. And the stickers. Okay. And I'm actually going 
remove this blanket because I don't want her to get it dirty. All right, I've got the queen of the reptile room. I've got mups. Let's see what Hunter got mups. All right. So it says to Muppet, I have read the Tegus love these, but if not, your great Danes will. Failed attempt at a laughing emoji. <laughs> so I guess it's kind of for Muppet. If Muppet doesn't want it, Monet, our great Dane, gets to have it. So somebody's going to get it, but let's see what it is, Muppet. Can you come over here for the camera so everyone can see you with your gift? Look, look, you got a gift. You got a gift. All right, let's see what Hunter got for you. What do you think it is? Let's see. Ooh, what is it, Muppet? Pure Bites. I don't know how to put this. So they're cat treats. 100% natural freeze-dried chicken breast. I don't see why she wouldn't like this or wouldn't eat it. Ingredient is just chicken breast. Huh. I've never even thought about, like, cat treats for tegus. We should try and see if she wants one. Let's see. There you go. Cook girl. Was it yummy? Say thank you, Hunter. Hi, right, guys. Thank you for joining us for today's video. And Merry Hurtmas. Happy Holidays. Merry Christmas. Whatever you celebrate or don't celebrate. And... <laughs> Don't forget to check out everyone else's videos today to see what we all got each other. It was so much fun. I'm so glad I got to be included. And thank you again, Hunter, for all the awesome gifts. And to see Alyssa open her gifts for me, make sure to head over to her channel, Alyssa's Lizards. I'll put everyone's YouTube's in the link or links for everyone's YouTube's in the description below. So make sure you go watch them all. And have a Merry Christmas. Bye!